Socks on everybody, this is my agenda for today. Uh, I'm gonna first show you what I'm carrying. I'm carrying my uh, Spyderco Tenacious Custom Micarta. No, it's not, uh, everything is so dusty in here. It's not, uh, it's not a SOG, but it's one I carry every day. We know that. Uh, what I did pull out of my drawer, I'm carrying in my left pocket, is because I had a comment from 10 months ago and I had to go look at it, the video. This is on my Vision XR. I bought this when they first released it and I used it, um, shoot, at least two years at my workplace, as you can see. And I've thrown this a lot of times. I mean, a lot. Uh, my folders, except for this one. Anything I carry at work, I, I throw. And I used to throw this just about every afternoon after work in my playground. Don't throw your folders, though. That alone should tell you how this holds up. The question was, is it Chinese? Is it from China? It's from Taiwan, okay? The steel is CTS XHP with a nice Cerakote finish. That's a Tonto blade. Very sharp. I have used this in my workplace. And if y'all know, most of you know, I work right off the beach. So I was exposed to salt water, salt air, sand, mud. I've cut roots with it. I've cut PVC pipe with it. And always cutting a one inch poly rope with it. That's the serrations part. That's why I need serrations. You know, having serrations is a, is a mixed, uh, people have mixed ideas, uh, feelings about it. I need serrations at my work. There's no doubt. I'm using my serrations to cut the, the stuff I just told you, and I'm saving my blade for other uses. It's not dulling it. But yeah, this is an incredible knife. I know, I should know, because I have put it through use. And uh, that's that. That's the Vision XR SOG. Alrighty. So, we saw my mail call last night. I got my bolts. It's going to replace these. This is what I was telling you about. This is what's on the K bar Becker BK18. Okay. It's heavy duty. Very well made. And then you got this nut on the other side. Now, I'm going to make my car to scale for this because the scales they had on there is a little bit slippery for my comfort. And that's just the way I feel about it. It's an excellent knife, though. This is an awesome knife. It does say on their website, on any website, that uh, that's a magnific magnificent, I'm rambling, sheath. Fantastic sheath. It did say it is removable. The scales are removable. Thus, it's probably why it's made this way. And let me see if I can get the other side, the other scale. There you go. That's where the nuts fit in. So you see, I'm not going to uh, do that. I'm going to do this if I can, which will be awesome. But this is what it is. It makes them a nice, uh, nice uh, throwing knife. Incredible throwing knife. I told y'all once before, I, got, I throw throwing knives every week. And I just don't video it all the time. I just throw them every week. And the ones that had paracord, they don't have it anymore because I'm hitting in my zone and they scrape up against each other and then I end up just taking the paracord off. I don't like paracord. I prefer the feeling of the metal on throwing knives, on throwing knives. Fixed blade knives, I throw all the time to show y'all how tough they are because that board is brutal. And also I like to know that what I'm carrying, I could throw, don't throw your knives well, you'll do away with your warranty, but also in a situation, uh, you don't want to throw your knives and lose, lose your, uh, weapon. You know what I mean? You don't want to turn it over. Is what I'm saying. You want to keep it in hand, but this is that BK 18 and that's on my agenda day to put my car scales on it. Hopefully I want to put that, uh, bow and arrow. Uh, the bow, I want to put it together. We opened it up last night, took a look at it. Uh, it's going to be cool. And uh, the weather's 
going to be like it was yesterday. So I don't know if we're going to get out there and do that. Somebody requested to see my cold steel overhead shot. I haven't, I didn't buy cold steel nice until I got on my YouTube channel opened up. Did you know that? I never owned a cold steel, but thanks to you guys, I got me some nice, nice knives, cold steel. I would have never thought to buy cold steel. And I got several I absolutely love, absolutely love them. So I don't have a whole bunch, but if I get a chance, I'll do an overhead shot for this person. He's very, he's a very good supporter of my cold steel knives. And then there was something else somebody requested. Uh, I can't remember what it was. If I come up with it, I'll put it on the uh, thing. And I do, I always like to show one of my, uh, one or more of my SOG knives I have in my collection. I do not use, they're collectible. And uh, you just don't use collectible knives. I mean, you could, but I don't. With that said, I am going to go inside now and work on that bow where it's warmer. In the meantime, I'll just leave this open. It's so dusty right now. And I'm not even going to try and clean it up till I get done with uh, this uh, K-Bar. Hopefully I can get to it. My hands are all cracked up. And this is not because uh, I'm, a, I'm a wussy on, you know, with this cold weather. This is all from dipping my hands down in the pool this last week. It's going to be worse this week. I got to, the first thing in the morning, I wear a short sleeve shirt out there. I don't care how cold it is. This week it might get down to the 30s. Because from here down, I have to dip my arm down in there two times. One, to test the water, uh, make sure it's balanced. And the other one is to hook up the vacuum hose. And let me tell you, when you pull that arm out and you got that ocean breeze northeast coming in, it's pretty cold. So that's what that is. And I use that stuff for the fingers. I'm doing it now. It's just uh, taking some time. And now I'm ratchet jawing. I'm at seven minutes. Got to cut this off. Y'all take care. Sog out. I'll, I'll be doing videos today. Hopefully upload them. Y'all have a good day. Sog out.